What we eat is really our chemotherapy three times a day. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor, researcher, and president and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He's also a New York Times bestselling author with Eat to Beat Disease, the new science of how your body can heal itself. And he recently published a new book, Eat to Beat Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. In today's video, we have extracted Dr. William Lee's teachings over the years and focused on how food works as medicine for our body to protect ourselves from diseases like cancer. In the final part of the video, we will list out five healthy and potent fruits that Dr. William Lee frequently mentions in many of his seminars and talks. So stay watching until the very end for all the juicy details. Diet accounts for 30 to 35 percent of environmentally caused cancers. And in fact, we're probably forming these microscopic cancers all the time in our body. Autopsy studies from people who died in car accidents have shown that about 40% of women between the ages of 40 and 50 actually have microscopic cancers in their breasts. About 50% of men in their 50s and 60s have microscopic prostate cancers. And all, virtually 100% of us, by the time we reach our 70s, will have microscopic cancers growing in our thyroid. Let's talk now about food as medicine. Food, in fact, is really one of the most powerful healthcare interventions that we can do for ourselves because food is the medicine that we put into our body three times a day. That's called food is medicine. You put good stuff into your body, your body's going to last longer. The science is now telling us that there are things that we can deliberately choose. It's not food versus medicine. It's food and medicine that can help our treatments work better. In order to educate and share the knowledge with the public, Dr. William Lee wrote a book on food as medicine. It is important to note that it's not just five fruits that we will look at in detail in the video, but many varieties of natural foods that can be considered as food medicine and help our body become healthier. I think this is the first book that I ever did is 150 foods that have been shown by human clinical research that they can actually improve your metabolism decrease the amount of body fat, reduce your waistline, and improve things like your blood sugars and your insulin sensitivity and the healthy hormones that relate to your metabolism. In many seminars and interviews, Dr. William Lee frequently mentions some fruits more than others. Here are the top five fruits that often come up in his narratives, starting with tomatoes. Well, the best example I know is a study of 79,000 men followed over 20 years in which it was found that men who consumed cooked tomatoes two to three times a week had up to a 50% reduction in their risk of developing prostate cancer. Now, we know that tomatoes are a good source of lycopene, and lycopene is anti-androgenic. But what's even more interesting from this study is that in those men who did develop prostate cancer, those who ate more servings of tomato sauce actually had fewer blood vessels feeding their cancer. Lycopene is a fat fighting bioactive. Here's what it does. It actually takes our harmful fat and helps to burn it down by activating a special kind of fat we have in our body called brown fat. So brown fat can, good fat can burn down white fat, which is harmful fat, dangerous fat, and eating tomatoes will light that up, improve your metabolism, improves your metabolic profile overall, lowers bad cholesterol, this is all with tomato and actually shrinks your waistline as well. One study that was done actually took normal, healthy young women who were not overweight or obese, okay, because many researchers, many, much, a lot of research is done with people who are already overweight, but this is actually taking young, healthy female grad students who don't have extra weight. They're considered normal body size, whatever that means, okay? That, that, that can be debated. But the bottom line is that they had just one tomato to eat before lunch every day and they were able to lose weight and improve their metabolism. Very achievable dosing, so tomato can actually do it. With foods, it is important to know how best to prepare to maximize the intake of the good components. So here's how you prepare tomatoes. But the lycopene is in a form uh, that's called uh, trans, and it's very difficult for your body to absorb. It's one chemical form of the, of the, of the, uh, of the lycopene. If you heat it, you change the chemical structure naturally and you change the trans to the cis form, and suddenly your body can absorb it. So at two minutes of heating tomato sauce, you suddenly make it 50% more available. 
And after you simmer it for 30 minutes, there's 250 more available. And so again, how we treat our food makes a difference as well. There have been studies looking at cooking tomatoes in uh, water, and you can uh, actually uh, uh, get the lycopene out, and you can see that there's some lycopene that goes into the bloodstream. But lycopene is a fat-soluble, it's an oily molecule. It dissolves better in oil than in water, right? So oil and water don't mix. Lycopene loves oil. If you cook tomato sauce in olive oil, the lycopene gets into your bloodstream a lot more easily because it doesn't get flushed through. Now it gets absorbed into your body, all right, by a lot. What kind of olive oil would you want to use? Um, if you look across many of the olive species, there are three varietals of olives that have the highest number of anti-androgenic, cancer-starving polyphenols. One's Italian from Umbria, Moriolo. One is Greek from Peloponnesus. It's the Koronecki olive. One's from Spain. It's called the Picuau olives. Next on the list is pear. This is a pear, and the reason pears are so great are the fact that they've got chlorogenic acid, which is a bioactive, also found in apples, that can actually activate your metabolism and help you burn down harmful body fat. And chlorogenic acid is also anti-angiogenic, meaning it actually stops blood vessels from growing to tumors. Pretty cool. One of the things that I love about pears is that it's got a lot of dietary fiber. So an average pair has got about five or six grams of dietary fiber per pair. And a study from MD Anderson showed that just having that amount of dietary fiber can lower the risk of tumor progression or death by about 30% in one study where they looked at people with melanoma on immunotherapy. And so here is actually a food that can actually make medical treatments work better. Dietary fiber pair, one of my favorites. Next in the list is kiwi. Kiwi is packed with vitamins and antioxidants. And it's been shown that eating just one kiwi a day can actually uh, protect your, cause your blood to be fortified to neutralize about 60% of the incoming damage from DNA. And if you eat three kiwis a day, okay, which is pretty easy, right? You can put it into a yogurt, okay? It's something that simple actually will build itself back up so that damaged DNA will be repaired. This is a study, a very small study, but an important one that just shows a proof of concept out of Singapore. They gave um, uh, female volunteers two kiwis a day for four days and then looked inside their stool to see what happens. In the first 24 hours, um, they had 35% more, more lactobacillus in their stool just from eating the kiwi. The fiber in the fruit, uh, feeding the bacteria, changing the population, and the bifidobacteria increased by 17% over the four days. These two bacteria, lactobacillus and bifidobacteria, they actually make other metabolites called um, short-chain fatty acids or SCAFAs that are anti-inflammatory. They um, uh, alter our lipids um, and energy metabolism, and they actually help our gut have protective mucus layer so you have less leaky gut kind of syndrome. So kiwi, who would have thought that the kiwi would have be beneficial to us on the basis of our uh, microbiome, but now you have it. Next is berries. Berries, and we started talking about berries, have this ellagic acid and anthocyanins, dark berries like blueberries, blackberries, and even strawberries. You know, anthocyanin is a kind of a reddish purplish natural dye that is mm. anti-androgenic, immune boosting, activity, eating berries actually is really helpful for your health defenses. So that's, by the yeah. way, if you have berries, do please don't put tons of sugar on them. Let mother nature's sugar, you know, that most sure. berries are not that sweet. Strawberries have also been shown to actually improve your metabolism. And what's really interesting by eating strawberries is that although strawberries can be sweet, when they measured blood sugar, eating strawberries in a way to improve your metabolism not only decreased weight and uh, waist size and lowered weight and decreased body fat, it also didn't raise blood sugar. So this whole idea, another kind of like common idea that's kind of a uh, kind of like a paintbrush idea, eh, don't eat fruit, it's got too much sugar in it, it's got too much fructose. It might kind of sound like it makes sense on a casual level, but the science actually doesn't show that. And the reason is that the bioactives in the strawberry activate your body so it starts to burn down the bad fat, okay, so you can actually metabolize even faster. Finally, Dr. Lee frequently emphasizes on the goodness of pomegranate juice. I also drink pomegranate juice because it turns out that pomegranate juice can help us grow healthy gut bacteria that boosts our immunity. Here's what's in the juice. It's got something called elagitanins. These are bioactives that can do a lot of great things. 
One of the things they do is actually they can cut off the blood supply to tumors so they can starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. But the other thing that they do is they improve your gut health by helping to grow a bacteria called Acromancia. This is a guardian of the gut and guardian of health and it actually comes from the pomegranate. So don't be afraid to pick one of these things up, eat the seeds and juice them if you dare. The bacteria Acromancia, which can be grown by drinking pomegranate juice or con conquer grape juice or cranberry juice that seems to be present in every patient who's a positive responder. They benefit, they, the tumor is wiped out by your immune system in people who get checkpoint inhibitors for their cancer because we don't know who responds and who doesn't respond. We're beginning to find out that what you eat and how it happens to change the ecosystem of your diet, of your, of your gut bacteria, looks like you can actually make a big difference. And that big difference could be life and death. As a final remark, this is how Dr. William Lee summarizes his study on foods as medicine. Eat fresh whole foods, mostly plant-based, and cut down or cut off red meat and ultra-processed foods. It's super easy. And remember, there are no superfoods. There's no single food that's going to protect you. It's all the foods that you choose to eat, the diversity, that can help keep our bodies strong. We choose to eat every single day can make a big difference in our immunity. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more informative health-related videos in the future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.